Hello, and welcome to Yes, You Can DIY Digital Marketing by TTG. In this tutorial, we're going to look at managing entries from your Gravity Forms. So I'm in WordPress on the dashboard, and I'm going to Forms. And if you want to go to one form and see what entries you have, there's a couple ways to do this. You can hover over the name of the form and click here on Entries. And it takes you right to your entries. Or, I'm going to go back, you can click on the name of the form. And once you're in the form, you can click here on Entries to get to it. Then I'm going to go right back to the form one more time to show you something else. Notice when you are on the main forms page, it does show you how many entries. And I'll show you why this matters in just a moment. So I'm going to go back here, hover, and get back to entries. And I have five here. Something that we like to do at TTG is make sure that we're filtering out any of our tests that we do with the forms. Because whenever we set up a form, we always test it to make sure that it's working properly before we go live. So let's say these last two are tests from somebody internally here at TTG, and these other three are actual form entries. I'm selecting the two of these, going to bulk actions, trash, and apply. So now I'm left with three. Now let's go back to the main forms page. And now notice that we have three entries. So this is really helpful if you want to come in here and at a quick glance, see how many entries you have, but you don't want to count any of that were your own tests. So I highly recommend doing that. So now coming back to click on entries again, this is the list of the entries, but if you want to go into an entry and see what was populated, you can click on the name and then it shows you all of the fields. It shows you the date and time that it was submitted. If you have an embed URL, it'll show you that over here. Now, if you want to export your entries, you come here to the left-hand panel under Forms, click on Import and Export. It defaults to Export Entries. Select your form. I'm going to select Contact Us. I'm going to select all the fields. You don't have to. You can choose just specific fields that you want. If you wanted to do a specific date range, you can enter this. Otherwise, it will be all entries. So I'm just going to leave that blank and click Download Export File. And then this is what your CSV file looks like. It opens up typically in Excel, and it has your column headers for what all of your fields are. So you have all your data in one spreadsheet. And managing entries is as simple as that. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to receive notifications and leave any comments you have in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.